And our live team coverage continues now with CBS News Miami's Larry Seward. He is in Brickell, and Larry, some businesses there actually took on some water. They did, and a short time ago, we had some of that heavy rain that Ivan was talking about. And behind me, you see those drains across the street? They got quite a workout. There was ponding on the road, but the drainage system here in Brickell working very good. Still, the business owners, if you walk with me, they're taking no chances. If you look outside doors here, you'll see sandbags. There are also flood walls behind this particular door. That's the case for door after door as you go down here. Again, trying to keep out what got in earlier. Tuesday's heaviest rain made waves before rush hour. The water came all the way to over there. That's why we put the sand span over there. You can see all the door on the, on the, on the floor. Storm water forced its way inside the pizza restaurant where Carlos Rivas works. Water also pushed gravel and mulch out flower beds and brickle, while constant rain had people scrambling to pull on ponchos. Down the road in Little Havana, flooding covered sidewalks. This couple tried to steer clear, but drivers saw so much water on Flagler Street near Northwest 8th Avenue that cars and trucks mostly passed in the middle of the road, single file, as a tow truck driver watched. I think uh, there's a lot of water in the street. Uh, maybe we have a lot of work this night. Miami Beach saw a surge too. Near Collins and 29th Street, traffic and tourists waded through water. How could you guys do this? I'm just a visitor. Travelers like Joyce ran into afternoon problems with flights to the Caribbean from Miami International Airport. We are delayed right now, and I'm praying to God that we are not canceled. <laughs> Later, with flood water gone down drains and brickle, business owners left preparing for whatever falls next. It's supposed to rain like this potentially for the next three days at least. What are you thinking? Uh, well, we gotta take care of it. We gotta be ready for that. It's gonna, be good. it could be worse. Today here in Brickell, that water drained off in about an hour, the business owners here say. Again, you see that there's sandbags at the door. They're hoping that that is the case with the drainage system here in Brickell if rain falls tonight and into tomorrow. We're live in Brickell, Larry Seward, CBS News, Miami.